fighting to me it allows me to get the lead out of the pencil. You know, I, I think of myself as a good person. I'm a better person when I'm training. When I'm, when I'm getting that out, when I'm getting that anxiety, I'm a person who naturally has anxieties, insecurities. Um, there's things about me that I'm not so proud of um, mentally how I deal with issues. And I know that I'm a better person. When I'm getting to the gym, I'm getting, doing some boxing, doing a little wrestling, working with people, I feel better. You know, I feel better about myself. I like one of the things I love doing in my life, it, I love doing with my job is helping people. And when I feel like I'm getting in my training in and everything's going well, that's when I'm at my happiest. I'm not chasing anything. Uh, I've, I, now why I fight today, I'm 32 years old, my body's uh, seen better days. I fight, I fight to one, just to kind of, you know, I take care of myself. I find when I'm training for a fight, when I have that carrot in front of me, um, it keeps me focused. You know, you're not going out with the boys at, you know, every night, you're taking care of yourself, you know, you're breaking, you know, I'm still breaking down, getting beat up, but, I'm not going out, I'm not causing trouble, it keeps me in line, you know, I get that extra, that anxiety, that energy that I have, I get to apply it. Yeah, no, it, it's, a, it's a serious thing, you know, it's serious fear that, you know, one day you're going to take that wrong shot and, um, you know, perhaps something could happen, potentially happen that could cause you not to be the same person you are. Um, that's a fear that all fighters have. Uh, the best thing you can do is just take care of yourself. Um, you know, you got to have a regimen, you got to take care of yourself on a nutritional level, you got to get to the weight room, you got to take care of yourself. Uh, you got to watch how many, how many times you're sparring. Um, you know, I, I definitely don't spar as much as I used to. Uh, you know, I definitely, I definitely train at a certain level, but I, you know, I, I go up to Lehigh University, that, you know, work out with the LVAC, the Olympic Training Program, and I get my hard grind workouts there. Um, where I'm not, to, you know, I'm not beating myself up. Um, you know, I definitely, you know, I still spar here and there um, to maintain, you know, especially it's important to, you know, get a good amount of sparring in before you fight, but I don't overdo it. And um, yeah, I, I definitely take count of how many times, you, you know, I don't want to, if I find myself that, I, you know, if I get to a point in training where I'm taking too much damage, then maybe, then that would be the time where I would say, hey, like, listen, I got to step out, you know, let the young guys do it. Just being a part of American Top Team, coaching for American Top Team, um, you do see, you, you know, you have to understand that fighters come from all different walks of life. And, you know, everybody's looking for something a little bit different, but on the, at the end of the day, I'd be lying if I said that fighters are fighting just for fighting. You know, they, they, these people are looking for something extra in life, you know, and it's, they're looking for their, their thing, their niche. You know, some people identify themselves with being an athlete. Some people are looking for a certain level of personal strength that they, they get when they come to the gym and they're putting it in, they're grinding, they're working on themselves, they're making themselves better, you know, they're eating, they're, they get discipline here, you know, and that's something that, you know, we, even as a society, we've lost. I think so. a lot of times you have this misconception that fighters are all meatheads or just these tough guys, um, you know, guys that have bad intentions. It, listen, it's not the case. Um, you know, I got guys here that are business guys. You know, I got guys that here, you know, former college, you know, high school athletes, college athletes. Um, they're all, you know, all my guys are well educated, all nice, awesome, good people. I don't train people that, you know, all the guys I train with, these are guys that I wouldn't mind having a beer with at the end of the day. Um, you know, I don't, you know, the assholes, they get weaned out. If you're coming here and you got bad intentions in your heart and your mind, it doesn't last. The fighting's too hard now, it's too competitive to go through this type of grind. And if you're that type of person where you're bringing that negative baggage into the gym, it's not gonna last. You can't run on that. Like I said, people have this misconception of what fighting really is. It's just not about the, the 15 minutes you spend in the cage. It's about are you willing to grind? How much grind and how much time are you willing to dedicate to, to, towards your goals? Because if you're not willing to put that big chunk of your life on the line, man, you're doing yourself a disservice because, listen, you don't want to realize the time not to, you don't want to be in the cage realizing that you didn't do enough, that you didn't prepare enough, you didn't, you know, take care of your weight cut, you didn't, you didn't do enough striking, didn't do enough boxing, didn't do enough jujitsu, wrestling, you know, and the time you don't want to be in the cage and then realize that. My biggest accomplishment, I, would, I honestly could say, is just making the, you know, when I, when I left uh, Pennsylvania to, to go down and train with the American Top Team, I think my greatest accomplishment is just being a part of that system. Uh, making that commitment, uh, it, it has come back to me tenfold and the people I've met, the people who have influenced my life, the structure it gave me and it allows me to live my dream now, you know. I, I love running a gym, I love working with fighters 
and I had awesome people who just guided me through that whole process of you know making that transition into be, from being a fighter to a coach. And there's more to it than just the technical knowledge. It's about you know it's about life knowledge and knowing how to deal with people and how to deal with situations. And yeah, I can honestly say that being a part of America Top Team is my greatest accomplishment. A good person is a person who's just honest with himself. A person who looks through. Listen, life throws a lot of things at you. Trials, tribulations, and it changes. Sometimes it can change the type of person you are, you know? And then you throw a little bit of ego in there and it's very easy to, to have a misunderstanding of what life is about, you know? And to me, a good person is that person who's just honest with himself. Uh, he knows when he's happy, knows when he's sad, not too proud, you know? A person who, who person who that knows that when there's an issue with himself is, is, is you know man enough to step up and work it out and do the right things in life.